The Word of God. Ministering Prophet Godfrey. We pray every day, Father, bless me that God has given you what it takes to be blessed. Because of lack of wisdom, you are still fasting and praying. That's why you see some of them, they complain God does not answer prayer. Who tell you? Don't answer prayer. There are so many opportunities, but wisdom is missing. Your husband always give you big money. You should use wisdom and be keeping because there will be a day when your husband will say, my dear, they have not paid me. That little one you are saving, you bring it out. You say, honey, you know the money you have been giving me. I'm not using all. Look at food on the table. Key to supernatural openings. One of the key is wisdom. Where do, why do I bring wisdom first? There are people you give one million, it will be useless in their hands because no wisdom. You cannot give a mad man a new car and expect it to drive it the way you expect it. If you give a mad man a new car, expect by tomorrow we turn it to dustbin. He will poop on it. He will weigh on it. He will change it. He will turn it upside down. Wisdom. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Wisdom. And let us look at it. Correct application for knowledge. Wisdom, the correct application for what? For knowledge. Knowing what to do. Knowing when to do it. Knowing how to do something. Doing it well. That's why you say you cannot buy a car for a madman. Because we will not know what to do. You cannot give somebody a millionaire who has no wisdom. He will not know what to do. God gave, and Jesus gave how many talent? He gave one, one. He gave two, two. He gave some three. One buried his own. He lacked wisdom. He, he said, I don't want to touch it. Too. So when he come, I will give him the way he gave me. Lack wisdom. What did he do? When he came, he said, hey, oh yeah, come, 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 come. The one he gave to double it to six. The other one trade with it and bring the profit. The other one said, no, I don't want to touch it too because I know if I touch it, my, something might happen. I said, let me so still bring it the way you gave me. He was thinking he was doing the right thing. But because he lacked wisdom. That's why many of us today, not everything that is a cause. People just see it is a generational cause. It's power from my father's house. No, not everything that is power from your father's house. When you lack wisdom, you are in a pit. And somebody in a pit, he will never see what is happening. That's why we, we need this wisdom. Wisdom correct. It's a correct application. For knowing what to do and how to do and when to do it. That is what is happening today. We pray every day. Father, bless me. But God has given you what it takes to be blessed. Because of lack of wisdom, you are still fasting and praying. That's why you see some of them, they complain God does not answer prayer. Who tell you? God answer prayer. There are so many opportunities, but wisdom is missing. That's why we cannot use it. We can't use it. Hallelujah. God will help us. Second Chronicle chapter 1 verse 10. Let's see what he said there. Give me now wisdom and knowledge. Give me now wisdom. That should be your prayer point first. If you want to embark on anything that will help you, ask for wisdom. Ask for wisdom. I say, Pastor, you need wisdom. You have a business with no wisdom. You will close that business. It's not power. It's lack of wisdom. Even as a lady, if you don't have wisdom, you will not see husband. That's why you see so many of them, they fall into this uh, prank they are doing. Because no wisdom. So let's finish it. Bring it open. Uh -huh. Give me that now wisdom and uh -huh. knowledge uh -huh. that I may go out and come in before people who can 
judge these thy people that is so great. Are you hearing? What made them great? Wisdom. Wisdom. Hallelujah. I see light in your life today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's go to the same second Chronicle 9, 22 to 24. And King Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings. Okay, go to NIV. Let's start again. NIV. Uh -huh. King Solomon was greater in riches and in wisdom. He is greater in riches and what? In, in wisdom. wisdom. Without wisdom, he cannot control riches. Uh -huh. Then all the king, other kings of the earth. Mm -hmm. Other kings. He cannot be compared. Continue. And all the kings of the earth sought audience with Solomon to hear the wisdom God has put in his heart. Mm. And year after year, everyone who came brought a gift, articles of silver mm -hmm. and gold and robes and weapons and spices and horses and moods. Are you hearing? Yes, because sir. of what? Wisdom. You are a man here. You are a woman here. Your husband always give you big money. Because he give you 20,000 to go to market, you will finish it. You should use wisdom. And be keeping because there will be a day when your husband will say, my dear, they have not paid me. That will lead to one you are saving to bring it out. He say, honey, you know the money you have been giving me. I'm not using all. Look at food on the table. That is wisdom. A wise man, woman, built. A foolish one, scattered. That is wisdom. What make, what make you a fool is lack of wisdom. What make you wise is what? Wisdom. The foolish one, lack of wisdom. The wise one, wisdom. Proverbs chapter 3, 13 to 18. Happy, Happy is he, the man that, that findeth wisdom. That findeth wisdom. And the man that getteth understanding. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. Are you hearing? And the merchandise of thereof. having wisdom is better than having silver. Having wisdom is better than having silver. Oh my God. Uh -huh. And the gain thereof is is fine, fine and gold. gold and she is more pressure than rubies uh -huh. and all the things that is wisdom now that she is wisdom uh -huh. and all things can desire are not to be compared unto her are you hearing to be compared unto wisdom the uh -huh. length of days in our is in our right hand and in our left hand riches and uh -huh. honor uh -huh. and her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to I mean, them that lay hold upon her. Of life. And, and happy, hold upon her. Uh -huh. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. That retaineth wisdom. 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 When you lack wisdom, you are under a curse. But when wisdom is displayed, you are under a blessing, which is God's blessing. That's why I say if you want to get, it's better to get wisdom than to get gold and silver. Are you getting it? You want to dress to, 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 to please people. And everything you are dressed on is borrowed. Are you getting it? Why should that be fool? Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see the light of God. I see grace speaking for you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 8, 10 to 12. Receive my instructions and not silver. No, no, and, no, and, no, and no. knowledge rather than the choice gold. Yeah. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Are you hearing? Anything you have cannot be compared with what? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. I, wisdom, with prudence and find out knowledge with wit of witty intention, inventions. Yes, sir. If you must go far in life, you need what? Wisdom. wisdom. Go to 15 to 21. By me, kings reign. And princes decree justice. 
And by me, princes ruled in and by nobles. Me, he's talking about wisdom. Wisdom is talking to himself. By me, prince rule. Uh -huh. By me, princes no rule. Uh -huh. And nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I love them that love me. And those hearing? that seek me and find that he's me. Talking down. I love them that love me. Uh -huh. And those that seek me early shall find me. Are you guys? Those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor and are honor with me. Are in with other me. words, riches and honor are in wisdom. Being a Christian is not an open door for, for riches and wealth. When you have no wisdom, you can't get it. God is speaking now. What will help you to see what we are talking about now is wisdom. But when you lack wisdom, you cannot understand what is inside. He said, the word I give to you, they are spirit. They are life. It takes wisdom to understand it. Hallelujah. Take wisdom. Wisdom does not build and scatter. Wisdom builds and retain. But when you lack wisdom, you build and you scatter. May the Lord help us. We are moving on. Proverbs 21, 20. Proverbs 21, 20. And I love this place. And there is treasure to be desired. There is treasure to be desired. And, and oil all. in the dwelling of the wise. For the foolish man bended it up. You hear it? When wisdom is there, the wisdom is there. You can manage any word, any treasure, anything. Anything. There are many of us here who will try to help. And they cannot help themselves. Are you hearing me? You try to help them. Because of lack of wisdom, they cannot help themselves. People with wisdom, they don't depend on people. Because anybody, we are flesh. Anything can happen. Anywhere you are too expecting, get ready to experience disappointment. But the wise one prepared their way. I want to teach you something. The ant, the ant has the wisdom that God is talking about. You don't see ant moving on rainy season. Everything they want during dry season. They carry it. They gather it. They start carrying it inside the hole. Something that will take them, if it is six months rain, seven months rain, they will make sure they have enough food that will take them. If you sleep on the ground now, no ant will bite you because it's rainy season. Dry season, try it. You will see ant because they are looking for food. That is searching of food. They will hurt you. Are you getting it now? We have soldier ant, right? I used to visit houses. During dry season, you will see soldier ant. They will come out looking for food. You don't see it in rainy season. That is wisdom. Always use wisdom to prepare yourself. The ant did not wait and if rain for it will, it, will, it, will, it will drag food inside our hole. No. After collecting the they will seal it. Because they know that if rain for it can wash, it will be hot. That is where wisdom comes. Please sit down. That's why we have to be prepared. God did not create any of us to be poor. But because of lack of wisdom, that's why we are experiencing whatever we are experiencing today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. When you receive salary, you will make sure the salary finish on the 30th. Because another one is coming. Why not manage it? Enter the other month. So when the other salary comes, you keep it. Must you finish the money before another salary comes? Wisdom tells you to be opportunity ready. Wisdom help you to be what? Or tells you to be opportunity ready. You want to travel out, you have no international passport. 
You are praying, Father, I want to travel out. And maybe God answer you. He said, hey, tomorrow, Gary, Frederick, tomorrow, Gary, we are going to Canada. I'm taking you to the airport, I mean, to the Lagos or Abuja for the capturing. And uh, everything, come with your international. He said, no, I don't have international passport. Hey, can you give me one month? They said, we come back one month. He said, oh, you have failed it. You have to be opportunity ready. Are you hearing me? Every anything in life need make it available because you don't know when. You prepare yourself down. You don't have a car park. You are buying cars. Every day they will be carrying your battery. You must be prepared for anything you want to do. Yes, Even in terms of marriage, wisdom is needed. As a man, be ready. Let your neighbor be prepared. Prepare for opportunity. Because opportunity can come at any time. Are you blessed? To God be the glory. Wisdom shopping our gifts, talents, skill. You are talented. You don't know how to use it. You carry color, you don't know how to clear. That means you don't know what you are doing. Know how to sing? Always be prepared. Always be ready. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 8. Look at what he said. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that had it. Mm. And with the, with the so ever it turneth, it prospereth. <laughs> Let's use the uh, NIV. So I will understand it better. Uh -huh. A bribe is seen as a sham by the one who Ooh. gives it. Uh -huh. They think success will come at every turn. Okay, look at Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16. Use the same NIV. A man's gift make open the ways and usher the giver unto what? The presence of greatness. Okay, let's use the other. And he say a must give, make him rich. He make a way for him. As a human being, if you want to be great, don't keep, expand. If you don't expand, you cannot be great. Can you keep 1,000 people in one room? Eh? You say you are a pastor. By the anointing the Lord have given me. I'm sorry, I'll be using one room for years now. For 30 years, I'll be using one room. God has blessed me. You lack wisdom. When you are increasing, you will look for an, a, 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 a bigger place. I told you, I want you to give me 10,000 capacity. That's what we are building. 10,000 capacity. With overflow. First Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. For a great door and a great doors is open. open unto me, and there are many adversaries. Adversary. Are you hearing that? Any great door attract adversary. You want to be great, get ready to fight, get ready to pray. Are you hearing me? If you want to remain in one place, nobody will touch you. But when you are, if you are ready to expand, to move. Some people will say, when I have not married, I was living well. Things were okay. But since I marry, yes, you are expanding. So expect to see. Are you getting it? Expect to see challenges. Expansion attracts what? Challenges. That adversary. Any great door. Go with adversary. So don't think that it will just happen like that. When God was taking the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt they met the Red Sea adversary what could help them was prayer Moses prayed Daniel chapter 10 11 to 13 look at what happened and he said unto me O Daniel <laughs> a man greatly beloved a greatly beloved he Unders loved God understand the words that I speak unto you uh -huh. and stand upright, upright for unto you I am now sent and, I'm, and when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. And then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand 
and to sustain thyself before thy God, thy words were, were heard. heard. And I and I I am come for thy words. But the prince of the uh, kingdom of Persia withstood me. Expansion. Yes, sir. Expansion. I heard when you were praying, La Katata Father, I need expansion. You are not right man, no, you are not a sinful man. But the power from your father's house. That is the prince of Persia. The power from your father's side. Who said nobody succeed? Head it. Head it. Are you hearing me? Head it. Head it. The power. I heard your prayer. But the prince of Persia heard it. And what that happened, brother? 21, one and 20 days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief priests, came to help me and I remained there with the king of Persia. Are you hearing? Yes. It was Michael that came and yeah, Michael. I'm talking to everyone here. If your prayer is delayed, sometimes some people thought that we have seen. No. Sometimes it can be delayed for a purpose. Don't give up. Don't stop praying. Keep on praying. Are you hearing me? Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. Be fast. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, uh -huh. neither did their own arms save them. Uh -huh. For thy right hand and thy the arm. right time. Their right hand, which is God Himself. Uh -huh. And the light no, of thy no, countenance. No, 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 no. Isaiah, sorry. Because I prepared this one too. Isaiah, I told you, Isaiah. Thus yes. saith the Lord uh -huh. to his anointed, to oh. Cyrus, uh -huh. whose right hand have I hold to subdue mm. nations yeah. before him. Mm -hmm. And I will lose the lands of kings uh -huh. to open before him the two living gates. Uh, yes. And the gate shall not be shut. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And I I'll will go, go before, before thee, thee and make the crooked places straight. Uh -huh. And I will break in the, pieces in the gate, gate of brass and cut in a sunder. Generational the causes. of iron. Yes. Calm down. The yes, gate sir. of brass are generational causes. What did he say we do to it? Uh huh. We bring it back. Bring and it cut back. in asunder uh -huh. the bars of iron. Uh -huh. And I will give thee the treasure of darkness and the hidden riches of the secret places. Uh -huh. That thou mayest know that I, the Lord, that which God. call thee by thy name, I am the God of King Chapel. Joshua 3 7 to 17. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all the Israel, that they may know that I, that as I was with Moses, so, so will I be with thee. When the presence of God followed you, <laughs> and I, thou shalt command the priest that bear the ark of the covenant, saying, When ye are come to the brink of the water of Jordan, ye shall stand in Jordan. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come hither and hear the word, the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living God of is among you, and that ye will without fall drive out from before you the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Hivite and the Perizzite and the Ger all these people, they are and power, the Amorite and the Jebusite. They are powers. The Jebusite, the power from your father's side, from your community, from your mother's side, they shall be destroyed. Yeah. The last one, the key of favor. Exodus 3, 21. The key of favor. That is another key of supernatural openness. The keys of favor. Exodus 3, 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come in to pass. the sight of your enemy, amen. Uh huh. And, and it, it shall, shall come, come to, pass. to pass when they shall go, they shall not go empty. As you are living here today, you are not living here empty. Whatever projection, whatever they have said to you, you are dropping them today. Huh. They are in trouble for them to allow you to be here. I said, They are in trouble, they are in trouble. Finally, Psalm 44. Ah, this is where we, we, 
We are trying to read before now. One to three. <laughs> oh, yeah. One to three. Oh, yeah. And we have heard with our ears, uh -huh. oh God, our fathers have told us. Just what, as you are hearing now. Yes, sir. Our fathers have told us what work thou did in their days and in the time of old. And how that did drive out the Eden out of the hand of the planted that that planted them, and how they did afflict thy people you and cast this them place out. We are reading this is what will happen to Nigeria very soon. As many they have planted to finish this country, the Lord said, "I will come by myself, and we and we uproot all of them." <laughs> yeah, you hear that word. Just be ready. He said we uproot all of them. One after the other. And uh, what happened? Uh -huh. Please sit down. Uh, for thou. For they for got thou, not the land. They got not the land in possession by uh -huh. their own sword. Uh -huh. Neither did, did the, their, their arms. own arms save them. Mm -hmm. But thy right hand and thy arm. And the, the light of thy countenance. Because thou had a favor unto them. The hand, which hand is that? God's the hand. hand of the Lord. <laughs> it will take you from here and place you here. But people lobby for it. People have met with the president or with the governor or with the senator. But just one hand. Sir, nobody play with that hand. A king saw that hand. He ran. And I see the same hand upon you today. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Sir? Did you see that hand? Did you see the hand? How can the hand be on you? And the devil are holding me. Calling your name alone, they have scattered everything. Eh? They say you cannot break that yoke. When the hand of God is on you, for them to allow you to be here, they are in trouble. <laughs> The power that stops others not to reign cannot stop you. Thank you for joining us for today's service. We invite you to send in your prayer request via SMS or WhatsApp at plus two three four nine one three nine zero eight three three zero five. Stay connected with us and receive more uplifting content by following Prophet Godfrey Ministries on our social media platforms. You can also partner with the move of God in this ministry by supporting us through the following channels. Together, we continue to spread God's love and power to the nations. Encounter TV. Bringing light to the nations.